In this tutorial, we will be looking at what to do when we have a power that is raised to a power. Here are two simple powers, n squared and 3 squared. What do we do, though, when I add brackets and add an exponent? Let's take a look. Here we have our example of n to the power of 2 being raised to the power of 3. First, let's examine and break down the power of 3. We already know that a term to the power of 3 is that term multiplied to itself 3 times. Here that term happens to be n squared and therefore we have n squared multiplied to itself 3 times. Next, we are going to look at our n squareds. n squared is equal to n multiplied by n, so let's break this down one more time. We see that we are multiplying n to itself 6 times, which means we can bring all these terms back together to get n to the power of 6. Now let's bring our original n squared to the power of 3 down. Can you see the connection? 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. So when raising a power by a power, you multiply them together. This brings us to our next exponent law. A number raised to the power of n raised to the power of m is equal to that number raised to the power of n times n. Now say that five times fast. Time to look at some examples. x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 4. This equals x to the power of 3 times 4, which equals x to the power of 12. Now let's work with the number as our base. 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. This equals 2 to the power of 2 times 2, which equals 2 to the power of 4. Now because we are using a number as our base in this example, we can actually evaluate this. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Here is one that is slightly more complicated. Here we have three different powers multiplied together with all different bases. Remember that because the bases are different, we can't combine these. We also have raised all of this to the power of 2. The 2 is applied to everything in the brackets, so all three powers are raised to the power of 2. Now that we've applied the 2 to each power, we can work it through to the next step by multiplying our powers together. Now we have two options. We can leave our answer here, or if we are being asked to simplify the answer, we can evaluate the 2 to the power of 10, which is 1024. And here you have the simplified form. In this lesson, you learned how to work with powers raised to powers. When you have a power raised to a power, you multiply the two powers together. You also learned that when there are multiple terms in brackets and you place an exponent on the outside of the brackets, that exponent is applied to every term in the brackets. Finally, we have a new exponent law. A number raised to the power of n raised to the power of m is equal to the number raised to the power of n times m.